1970 snowmobile. Runs good, looks good. Everything is just like new. I told the rednecks, I said that it's like driving a brand new 1970 snowmobile. It works really well. I like the old guys. Hi, I'm Bob Muscle. I'm a true northern person here in the big town of Maple Leaf, Ontario. I've worked in the city for 37 years. And my wife and I have built this place here. We started about 10 years ago, figuring that we'd retire here. So we're here now, enjoying it, staying busy. Blew a lot of snow this winter, trying to stay warm when it's cold like the way it was this morning. We, uh, we shot up a bit of lumber there today. There's a little town of Musclo up the road here. I think it was in the 1800s when Musclo settled in there. So they've named that little village. There was a church there and I believe a post office and a store. Just up the road here is Greenview. So they put the two names together. They come up with that, that road name. Had nothing to do with me. It was before my time. <laughs> I enjoy using my sawmill. I like to help people out as much as I can. We cut lumber for people and then they do something back for you. It's just a good way to fellowship with them and it's uh <laughs> it's it's quite enjoyable. Well, you know, I I originally bought the sawmill for just personal use and I was going to get into some live edge stuff. I, I like to build things. I want to build some unique stuff. I had the sawmill. I could cut, you know, whatever I wanted to cut. And if I could cut some live edge stuff, I could sell it and pay for my sawmill, which I, I have. Then I said to myself, the sawmill's free for whatever we want. So it, we thought that it'd be good. We like being outdoors. So uh, the wife and I thought it'd be good for us and uh, it's turned out to be a real blessing for us and the community. I cut a bunch of cedar up for a friend of mine that donated it to Graphite Bible Camp, the cedar, because they built an outdoor gazebo and they wanted, I believe it was 12 or 14 picnic tables. So I uh, went and I cut that material up and they made their, their picnic tables for it. I uh, sawed some spruce and some pine up, and I built a chicken coop actually behind me there, and uh, so it, it worked good for that. I'm harder working now than I was when I was at work after I retired. You know, a thousand board feet is not uncommon. It's productive, it, it works well. The wood's fairly smooth that comes out of it. It's fairly straight. It's enjoyable to run. I really enjoy cutting live edge because it's like a treasure hunt. You don't know what you're going to find in that big nearly log. Sometimes it's not a good thing to find either. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's all good. We hunt moose and deer. 
We've been blessed with moose for the last four years. We got a couple deer this year and um, really enjoy getting out four-wheeling. Uh, we like that uh, quite a bit. We stay busy, there's, there's lots to do. You gotta get the fever off, I guess. So, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of things. If you got a great imagination, you can build anything. Just pay attention and don't be afraid to try things different and you'll you'll get it mastered and uh and we'll see what else comes around you never know clap oh i'm uh bob musclo wait, wait, wait. oh just clap you gotta clap oh, yeah, yeah. like i said Okay. <laughs>